Hey guys, so Star Wars is uh, nearly here and um, let's cash in on that Star Wars craze. I have a bag here full of different goodies with the Star Wars theme. They're all food based stuff. I'm going to take a quick look at all of them and um, i got a feeling that I should do something like this in front of a sofa but I'm not going to. Reference. Anyway, <laughs> someone else to watch. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so um, there's this popcorn here, but we're not going to look at that yet. Um, I'm actually going to look at this thing first. This is a pencil topper, supposedly. A pretty big pencil topper, you can see. Okay, there's the hole right there. And um, I don't have a pencil next to me, but whatever. You have a pencil, stick it in. And uh, this is from a uh, Kellogg's uh, cereal. And there was cause BB-8, Kylo Ren, Stormtrooper helmet, and uh, Chewbacca head, I believe. You can stick it on top of the pencil. Now, this is you know, a big shape, bulky and everything, and just wouldn't really fit on the top of the pencil. I'd rather have a smaller, but complete BBA to stick on top of a pencil, like a little ball on the end. And another problem with this is, uh, yeah, um, the bag was also slightly melted onto the eye, and the whole paint thing's just messed up. So I could paint this black, but um, it's still have a little bump there where the plastic melted, so you have to like sand this down, and uh, that's not cool. That's, that's terrible, but if you didn't get the effect, the rest of it's printed okay, I guess, and the molding is okay, and it's hollow plastic, so, meh. So, um, again, I'm just gonna, I'm just using this as, like, to make the background less boring, but we're not gonna go through that first. Um, we can go through some Star Wars chocolate wafers. I have a dark side bag and a light side bag. This one is, well, uh, not really nice, I don't know, episode 4, 5, and 6 it says here. So I picked this up, and uh, on the back, um, this is the other one. Uh, it says episode 4, 5, and 6, and uh, Lotto, Lotto, a Star Wars chocolate wafer, really. Um, I'm hoping it's hazelnut. I think this star broke the law, because there's no like English or Chinese anywhere on this, but um, supposedly uh, there's 13 to 24 kinds of something inside here. So we got, uh, I'm gonna guess stickers of these chibi styles characters, and packaging is actually pretty nice, you know, got the Empire and Rebel logo going through. Back, you got, um, not much the same images on the front, Disney, Styles.com, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, uh, I think it's just chocolate anyway. Let's open this up. No, I always try to go for the middle because that seems like a sensible way, but then all these things are always packaged in a way that it doesn't quite work. Okay, so we got the card back to stop it from cracking up, as all this, these wafer things always do, and usually there'll be a card. Oh! Well, it's a big sticker. Look, it's. Um, well, it could be any Ewok, but. Um, Oh boy, what's the main Ewok called? Well, I'm gonna call this one Simon the Killer Ewok. Another reference there if you know a pretty cool game with that Ewok in there, but... Uh, oh, there's information on the back, like always, like the Shinja stickers and stuff. But, uh, oh, Wicked the Ewok, that's, that's, that's what the main one is. Uh, yub Nub to you too, Ewok. Sparkly. So let's open the other one and find out what the other one is. I do realize that if I open all the snacks that we have here today, I'm gonna have to eat at least half of them and somehow keep the other half fresh. Now these stickers aren't in any plastic packaging, so, um, you know, they get a bit wafers on them. The other one is a Glitter Lando Calrissian in all Japanese anime glory. Sparkle, sparkle. This is number 17, uh, Wicket is number 6, oh, that's pretty cool, 16 and 17. I picked these literally from the same box, so um, I'm guessing they're packaged in order in a way, so if you pick up 10 of these from the same box, then you should get to me, you know, that's in order. And all of these cards, hmm, I actually bothered to paint this black, that seems like a waste of ink. Uh, uh, well, I guess I'll find out what these things taste like. Is that any good or not? Here it goes. Mm. Wow. Look at that. 
Um, there's actually barely any uh, chocolate in there compared to what you might think. The wafer tastes like standard wafer, it actually tastes a bit softer. Imagine eating chocolate ice cream and the wafer on the cone is starting to go soft because the ice cream is melting and the, the moisture is going from the ice cream to the wafer. Chocolate's a bit hard. There's something crunchy inside chocolate. Like you have a crush chocolate bar, you know, a little popping biscuity things. I mean, it's pretty decent, but um, yeah, um, just. Uh, I mean, these weren't that expensive because being a Japanese stack, of course, they're going to cost more because they always cost more in Hong Kong. But it's not too bad. The stickers are okay if that's something you like, but. Uh, mm. Next here we have some sort of, uh, it's pretty much another wafer snack, but uh, dark side and light side, double cast. Um, bourbon Elsa, Elsie, uh, there's eight in each box. I think the box is probably going to be nice and what's inside, but this is the you know, classic Daffin and Stormtrooper. On the back you got an empty space that you can, actually has a different texture, so you can write, Hey, I like you, join me in the dark side, or you can write, I am your father on the back and you know give it to your long lost son or you know say I am your father sorry you became a bastard and I left your mum when she was young and she had to you know live on her own and pay off everything and I but now uh, once you're grown up I can come pick you up and um, she'll get heartbroken again ha 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 we are evil because we're dark side and stuff but don't you know you can write that if you want uh, but yeah, the box is really nice. Uh, I can still print on that. Seems again, so much energy has gone into the packaging, but um, just for the sake of packaging, really. Um, pull the bag out. There's absolutely nothing inside, apart from this bag. And the bag uh, also has Star Wars stuff printed on it. Yeah, Darth Vader's metallic silhouette and the uh, oh, stop! Wow, they actually almost look like almost look like looks like there's color on this that's that's a lot of effort going into something you're just going to chuck in the bin when you're done well most people are going to chuck in the bin when they're done uh so we can get one out and um well just a standard wafer stick again which should have some sort of cream inside so i'm going to bite both ends okay um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's very light. You can probably go through this in like five minutes. The wafer itself is so plain that even the white chocolate isn't too um, sweet, like overbearing. Like ch white chocolate usually is for me. It's a bit too sweet. I prefer darker chocolate. But um, the wafer is so plain that it just sort of melts in. And, um, yeah, it is chocolate sauce. It's completely soft. Well, it's okay. And by the way, um, the store that I bought this from, every single piece of item, apart from the cereal one, you know, these two, you know, they were $8 each. This was 12 I believe. This was... No. Yeah. Uh, that was 10 I think. So, roughly those prices. So, 10 Hong Kong dollars each, pretty much, average. But yeah. Uh, for snack price, it's a bit pricier than usual. Just a few Hong Kong dollars more. All of these are, but because it's all Star Wars and stuff, and um, just get the normal ones. Um, you know, if you really can't decide if you want white or dark chocolate, just get two boxes and just mix and match. And um, like I said, the way for there isn't meh, but you do get special stickers. So if that's what you're collecting, that's really what you're buying these for. You're not buying it for the snack itself. So. I need to cleanse my palate a little bit, so we, we have here a light side drink and a dark side drink. So uh, there were different bottles, there was a Stormtrooper as well and Captain... No, no Phasma, I saw a Stormtrooper one and this one there was also a... Um... She's Ray, so a uh, Flynn, there's a Flynn one, the black guy, and he's ex, -ex Stormtrooper we're guessing from the trailer. And um, there's some English on here, we charge with the perfect blend of strong soda and a touch of sweetness canine flavor c-a-y-e-n-n-e -E. and uh, this one is I'm saying blah 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 a 
O B A. So that makes it Elba flavor. Hmm. As the character names was on the top there, I got pretty standard bottles really. Um, so I can get these easily, but I can't get myself a freaking Nuka Cola from Fallout. Stupid Target and this stupid stock and this stupid staff only the stuff with this stupid back room and setting at a stupid price on eBay, you stupid lives and I'll join the dark side to kill you and get those Fallout Colas. I probably should edit this out. Oh well. So, uh, yes, I'm joining the dark side. So I'm going to have a taste of the dark side one. Again, this is like $8, which is pretty much standard for a standard um, soft drink thing here. So, what does that smell like? Oh boy, it smells like medicine. It smells a bit of apple. Bit of chewing gum, like bubble, classic bubble gum flavor, and the smell's gone. Yeah, um, which reminds me of a different kind of soda, but oh well. Hmm, it's like, um, it's a bit like Dr. Pepper, but nicer. Or, oh, um, it's leaving some sort of minty aftertaste in my throat. Um, it must be the dark side. So that's what the dark side feels like. All that suffering and anger turns out it's just a little bit of minty. Um, it, it's nice. Uh, I, it's really hard to explain. It's like a bit of Dr. Pepper, slightly more fruity, but now it's leaving a sort of not so nice aftertaste. Probably all the chemicals. Let me try that one more time. Because uh, it's very familiar and yet... I don't recognize it. Yeah, um, it's like Dr. Pepper but more bubble gummy. Oh. Yeah, um, I think I'll never be buying that again. Maybe I'll just get the other one with the other label on it. But just to cleanse that, I better go back to the light side, so, here we go. Let's find out. There we go. Okay, um, this smells a bit more citrusy. Sour. The, the smell of these ones go very quickly, like as soon as you open it, there's a strong burst and then it's gone. That's what she said. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Um, yeah, oh. it's just like a citrusy blend, but maybe it's like, yeah, it's, it's some sort of citrus blend, that's what it tastes like, and um, maybe because of the colour, it also tastes a little bit like one of those energy drinks. I prefer the light side one more than the dark side because it's not leaving a sort of slightly bitter aftertaste in my throat. Uh, both of them do have like a cooling feel to it. Um, so yeah, so that's the dark side. It gives you a nice-ish flavor, cooling flavor, but then gets bitter and nasty afterwards. Hmm, it's not something I particularly enjoy. So moving on from that, I got two of these chocolate eggs with a, a surprise in them. Again, these were uh, 10 Hong Kong dollars each. Uh, I did see them in some toy stores elsewhere and they were really expensive. They were like something like stupid, like 20 or 30 dollars. Uh, but this, this this food store candy store, and in case you're wondering where I got it, uh, if you're in Hong Kong, uh, I got this in Sai Ying Poon, Center Street. There's a snack shop just right at the bottom. Um, across the street of a hotel or something so you can get it there so inside here you got um ooh. it says uh, the, the 13 kinds plus one so there's a hidden one uh even though we can't see all of them printed on the box anyway sure whatever um so I'm, gu I'm guessing they're going to be all the characters from here so um cvpo r2d2 darth vader chewy han luke uh, boba Django. that's boba and um Maul, I guess, Obi-Wan, Yoda. So let's count these characters, right? One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, still can't get 13 on this, so, uh, sure. Uh, I got two of these. Like I said, these were 10 Hong Kong dollars each. So, um, and these open pretty easily. And I guess there's a little plastic window in there just to make sure that, just in case you don't know, it's a chocolate egg or something like that. Mm. So, uh, uh, and chocolate eggs, pretty much in generic uh, packaging. Figuring that's just the brand and the usual brand packaging stuff. So, um, we don't get normal Kinder eggs uh, in uh, Hong Kong anymore, by the way. They're all those weird plastic half shell things. Like one, you, open, you pull the plastic apart, you get two halves of the eggs. One side is um, a plastic compartment with the toy inside, then the other half is this creamy goo with two crunchy balls in the middle. And you've got this plastic spatula thing to you know open it. So basically, using a lot more plastic, a lot more wasteful. And this feels like really cheap. Look at that. That's that's the cheapest of the cheap chocolate you can get. And oh, oh, but it's actually white on the inside, huh? And wow, this is the classic Kinder Egg sort of shell. That's really cool. Well, I'm gonna taste a bit of this chocolate then. Oh, smells nice. It smells nicer than it tastes. Yeah, uh, the multicolor was just a lie. It lied. Um, tastes the same on both sides. It's uh, yeah. Um, just cheap, cheap chocolate. So, but anyway, I'm gonna open the other one. That's <laughs> a. Uh, a lot more solid compared to other stuff, but anyway, if you miss the, if you're in Hong Kong, you miss the old kind of Kinder Egg chocolates, then you might as well just get those um, Kinder Breno bars, the same thing, just without the toy. But who cares about Kinder toys anymore? Because all the new ones suck. They're not as good as the old ones. Not like the old ones where you pick up a piece and it's like a little gash upon you. You get to assemble it. All right, egg, come on, pop open. Oh, <laughs> I managed to uh, do well that time. And yes, Americans, it, it's do well, not do good. Doing good. Well, I guess you kind of say do good if you did, if you mean it in the way that I did something that was a good thing. But if you mean like he's done pretty well for himself, it's pretty well. So, uh, on. what's inside here? Oh, oh, I got R two and a slimy plastic shell. Now on the box there's an advertising thing, some sort of USB light mouse thing, I guess if you like get a special coupon or voucher or something you can go ahead. Okay, so basic assembly, uh, okay, that's cool, that's really cool, uh, I'm going to have to pick up more of these. Uh, and uh, Well it's all in Japanese but here's the 13 stuff, if you can read Japanese there you go, here are the 13 ones plus one hidden. Open another one. Come on. Who's it gonna be? Oh, Stormtrooper, which is the complete incorrect scale. Well done. Uh, Furata. Furata eggs. Well done. So, well, R2 is already kind of simple for us, but whatever. Plug the legs in. Go. Have a stand here. It's peg. Pegs in the front wheels. Okay, that's pretty good. Stormtroopers, do the arms come off? No. Does the head turn? No. Leg in, doesn't even have a blaster. It's got a back peg. It's kind of cool. Okay, so all these will come with these little stands. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to have to get more of these now. Stupid brain. Um, Alright. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice, actually. Uh, that's actually some... That's pretty good details down here. Yeah, I I dig this. This is good. This um, you know, m miniatures, Star Wars miniatures are always so expensive, but um, these these do look pretty nice. And um, well, oh my, uh, the R two smells really funny. It smells like it's got that slight thinner smell when when you got some weird cheap paint, but um. 
I mean, Stormtrooper's eyes are a little bit wonky, but uh, these are pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, the R2 looks very nice. Um, I mean, you can obviously repaint it yourself, but the head print there on um, top of the dome, that's, that's really good. Yeah, these these are these are good and they're cheap, right? They're like ten Hong Kong dollars each. You get a chocolate egg and a bunch of Star Wars stuff. That's that's excellent. Uh, that's that's really good. And now we'll finally finish off with. Um, now I'm not gonna die by eating all these snacks in one go. I'm gonna have to eat some of them, but um, this bag's resealable. Hooray! So here we go. Star Wars popcorn. I don't even know what flavor it is. Could be sweet or or sour or something, or like salty, or maybe it'll taste like death because this is clearly a dark side popcorn. I'll eat it and choke. Um, this is 16 grams for $10 again. That's popcorn is like one of the cheapest snacks you can make yourself and also pretty healthy if you make it yourself, but um, pre-packaged popcorn is pretty bad for you because of the chemical flu. Anyway, peel open here, look at the back quickly, just drink Japanese stuff. This thing here almost makes me feel like this is some sort of poster or something like that going on inside or a sticker or something, but I, I doubt it. So, here's our peels open very easily. Let's open it up. Oh, my god, I smell the corn. Well, it's definitely a savory one, it's all orange and stuff. No, I don't see anything else inside that pop popcorn, but um, there you go. Oh crap! I'm glad it is resealable. So, um, just take a look at one up front. Yeah, it's probably cheese flavor. Did you know? Hmm. Slightly spicy. Get spicy as it goes. It's that um, Japanese barbecue flavor. All right. So the dark side apparently tastes like slight minty stuff when it's in liquid form with a bitter aftertaste, and um, in solid form, like you know, if you like mixing metachlorians with like rice or something, Star Wars fans are gonna hate me for for that. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, so. That tastes pretty nice, but it's far too expensive for what it is. They're making a huge profit margin on that. Also, um, I guess it's like a. It feels like a bit of a waste having a bag like that just hold a little bit of popcorn in there. That wafer is fine, but it's far too expensive again for what it is. Just it's a waste of material and energy and resources just to do such a pretty, like, packaging. So that's not cool. The dark side drink isn't so nice. It tastes a bit like chemicals. That one tastes like an energy drink, a bit better. The wafers are fine, kind of, feels a bit cheap and a rip-off. But if that's the kind of food you like and you kind of like the cheapy stickers, go ahead. Quality controls on the uh, Kellogg's cereal giveaways is terrible. The eggs don't taste too good, they taste just like normal cheap chocolate, which is okay, I guess. But the figurines that come inside them are absolutely excellent and super awesome. That's great. So that was my video on a bunch of Star Wars tat and snack related stuff. And movie, please be good to us. May the force be with you. So just a quick bit to add to the video. I did pick up two more of those chocolate eggs the next day. And um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I mean, look at this. This is... Clearly, they're way bigger than what it should be. I mean, I, I guess I should have seen that with the Stormtrooper being a lot smaller than the R2 in terms of scale. I guess, I guess Yoda and R2 are kind of the same scale, but um, with the Stormtrooper right here next to Luke Skywalker, yeah, completely different. Also, why is Luke Skywalker suddenly left-handed? Also, that face, yeah, isn't very good. Um, I still think the Storm. I think uh, these three do still look. Good. It's just a shame that they're not the same scale. I guess you can use them as chess pieces or something, or some sort of board game piece. These, these are, yeah, these are what do you guys board game pieces? But uh, yeah, the scale does really annoy me. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe button, and also leave a comment below on uh, maybe some other Star Wars next and stuff that you've enjoyed uh, before the movie, leading up to the movie and stuff. And of course, if you want to support this channel, please check out my other Star Wars related videos, action figures. You know, other toys, Lego, 
lightsaber replicas, that's pretty cool, the Force FX stuff. And I'll also be reviewing some uh, bootleg uh, Lego Black Series figures, actually pretty decent. And um, some Play Arts Kai Darth Vader and Stormtrooper figurines uh, soon on this channel, so check those out. And uh, yeah, like I said, please watch without any ad blog, I would appreciate that a lot. And if you want to support this channel even further, so I do more videos more often for you guys, you can head over to the Patreon page, give me a little support there. I actually don't know what rewards to put in the Patreon side, so if you have a suggestion for that page, by all means leave a comment below. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day, I'll see you soon, and may the force be with you. Please don't suck, please don't suck, please don't let this movie suck, please. <laughs>